Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out one that's been around for a minute but I've just never tried it. The Clinique Even Better Makeup. This is SPF 15 Combo Mineral and Chemical Sunscreen. Retails for $34 for one ounce or 30 mils of product. I'm counting 51 shades on Ulta's website. There's a lot of them. I've got shade CN28 Ivory, described as very fair with cool neutral undertones. This is described as a dermatologist developed foundation that creates a brighter skin tone while its creamy formula hydrates and smooths the look of skin. Medium coverage, natural finish, normal dry combo, and oily skin. When I click the read more, They've got a little extra info here. Helps create a brighter skin tone. After 12 weeks of daily wear, dark spots from acne, age, and sun damage are reduced. Creamy formula hydrates and smooths, yada, yada, yada. Plain old, plain old, normal, everyday things. Stay true. Pigments won't change color on your skin. And sweat and humidity resistant. So that is what they're claiming with this one. Let's take a look at this one swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Clinique, the even better makeup SPF 15 in shade CN28 Ivory. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the double wear stay in place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is Max Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. No primer today. I did some extra hydrating in my skincare this morning. Let's take a look at this bad boy. There we go. Not too uh, drippy. Yes, that is Ziva's tail you are seeing walking through the screen. <laughs> I will go in on one side with a damp sponge. The other side, we will try a brush, which I have not even gotten out yet, so I don't even know where my brush is. Let's start with the sponge side, <laughs> because your girl is not prepared. Your girl is kind of filming this at a time when I probably don't have time to do this because I gotta go to work. But uh, I'm doing it anyway. Here we are. Here we are. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. Blends out nicely. I would say sheer with... Okay, Ziva. She's literally right here. We cannot, we cannot do this. You gotta get down. You gotta get down. Thank you. I would say sheer with one pass with the sponge. Let's get out the old BK Beauty, shall we? There we go. There's my BK 101. I was going to be right. I was going to say 101. Then I stopped myself. I'm like, is that the number? It, yes, it is the number. Let's try the brush side. This shade is described as very fair. I would say this is just regular fair. But there are lots of shades lighter than this. But the description of very fair actually gave me pause because... I am not very fair. I'm usually like the darker, for shades, companies that have a wide range of fair shades, I'm usually the darker end of fair. I'm still usually in the fair category or in the summertime or if I'm self tanning, I'm like the lightest end of light. And so when it said very fair, I was like, oh no, that's gonna be too light for me. But I was, I went by the swatches and I'm glad I did because this is about what I would say is my shade. This looks really pretty on the skin. Slightly more coverage with the brush, not a ton of difference from one side to the other. So I'd say whatever your preference, if you like a sponge, go with the sponge. If you like a brush, go with the brush. The texture of this feels like I would actually like it with fingertips too. I'm gonna put a little bit more. That was way more than I wanted to put. But let's try and build this up just a little bit over my sunspots, my red chin, my little blue blood vessel that goes through here, even out the sponge side of the situation, and yeah, let's just do this. I'm just going to use the brush. I tend to go brush rather than sponge mainly because Going sponge requires me to get up and take my sponge to the bathroom to get it damp. <laughs> so 
I will usually skip that <laughs> if I can. <laughs> if I had a sink in my vanity room here, that would be amazing, but I do not. So, laziness wins. Laziness, efficiency, I don't know. It could be a little of both. This has nice buildability. Is that a word? Buildability? Uh, more coverage than I anticipated. I guess they said medium, so they, I think, are true to their word. I don't know why I did not expect it to be, uh, but now, it has a slightly dewy finish, I can tell, but I also had quite a bit of dewiness coming into this from my skincare this morning, so I'm probably looking a little more dewy than the product on its own would reflect. Let's zoom in, get a look at this one after I get Ziva's hair off my cheek. Very, very pretty finish. I really, really like how this is sitting on the skin. It's definitely blurring pores. It is definitely blurring texture. It's got a nice medium coverage going on to it. It does have a slightly dewy finish. It's not clinging to the edges of dry skin. I do have some dry skin around my chin and on the right side of my face, especially up near my temple, and I almost can't see it, <laughs> which is pretty pretty good camouflage going on there. This is very nicely smoothing. I'm just looking at it on my pores and I'm very impressed at the smoothing. I have no primer on today. I did not apply any primer, so this is all the product doing this work. I'm pretty... I'm pretty stoked at how this looks in the mirror at the moment. Let's check the time. 12.06. I'm going to go... What am I missing? <sighs> Notifications. There's too many things happening all at one time. I'm going to go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Clinique Even Better Makeup. Oh, you know, when you're running on a tight schedule and you decide to just go full glam anyway because reasons. Why not? Why not, right? <sighs> <laughs> I had new makeup to play with and then I just went crazy. All right, first of all, on my eyes, ColourPop, it's a mood. I basically just stuck with this second row here, not the blue, but the other four shades. And I really need to put this one into my Rolla Look eyeshadow app because I can imagine some very, 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 very fun things coming out of this palette. So that is what I am wearing on my eyes. Mascara is the lawless one and done, no surprise, on my face. You know how I was saying that my Balm Desert was dried out? I found in my Alex drawers behind me, I completely forgot that I had a drawer of backups, brand new sealed things, and I had two backups of this. And uh, yeah, so I'm back to my love of the Balm Desert, fresh. Fresh and beautifully blending, bravo. Uh, that's my bronzer, my blush. Merit has come out with some new shades of their, oh, I just call them blush pots, that's not the name of them. What are they called? Flush Balm. Okay, so I know you would look at this and be like, whoa, that's so dark, that's so dark. It's not, it's not. If you don't use cream or balm style products, blushes, etc., they're so much easier to deal with than dealing with powder because like let's say you go in let's say you go in heavy like all right all right that's pretty dark right but like they're so easy to blend out you can get them sheer if you want or you can build them up to whatever level of color you want so don't be scared of dark dark cream products because they can be blended out so beautifully i need sherlock to help me with the name of this this shade is a prey. I know I'm saying that wrong. It's the, one of those words that ends with S. It's, I, I don't know, what is it? French? A-P-R-E-S with a little thingamajig over the E. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is my blush. They also, I might as well just say, have new shades of their tinted lip oil, which I'm also wearing. Thank you. Merit sent me these. I looked up this shade before I turned the camera on and I already forgot it. It is, why can't I read anything? Mapleton. <laughs> so that is my lip gloss and my highlight is also Merit. This is the Bounce Day Glow Balm, which I've had for some time and I love it. Brows are lawless. 
I did the pencil and the bra wax today. And is that everything that's on my face? I think so. I'm gonna go about my day. Oh my God, I'm running late, so late, so late, so late. I should have left three minutes ago. Gonna go, gonna go do the things, gonna get a sandwich, gonna go to work. I will give you a daylight check-in in a bit and I will come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, it's almost six o'clock. I'm gonna start this in my car because when I step outside the Jeep here, you'll be able to see this in full sunlight. It is a pretty dewy finish. I was expecting some of that to go away just based on the fact that I, th I thought some of it was my skincare, but it does seem like this is the finish of the foundation itself. So, okay, here, com here comes the sun. Da -na -na -na. All right, it's gonna be bright. It's gonna be bright. Ooh, I can't even see. All right, let me turn this way. So here's outside the car daylight, but I'm gonna turn around since this is not really, this is like shade, sort of. All right, here we go. I can't really look at the camera because the sun is directly in my face. There we go. Can you see? I think it's holding up quite nicely. And uh, nice dewy finish. Sorry, I'm getting all the shadows, all the shadows. Let's, <laughs> let's get back in the Jeep, shall we? All right, here we go. So that's where we're at, some almost six hours in. So uh, I'm gonna wear this the rest of the day. Then I will come back tonight. We'll see how it held up. 12.02 a.m. That means we are approaching the 12 hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Clinique Even Better Makeup held up. I almost went to bed. Like, I went to bed, started putting my pajamas on, was about to wash my face, and then I remembered I had to film this outro. So that is kind of how I determined that a foundation was so comfortable that I wasn't even thinking about my makeup at all, which is good. So that's a good thing. The... Overall feel, I feel like it's a dewy finish, but it's not sticky or tacky or anything like that. I think the dewy finish did kind of chill out a little bit as we went through the day. and But it's, it's still a dewy finish. I still feel like there's reflect off of areas where I don't have highlight. You know, other yeah, I only put the highlight on my cheeks. So I think it is a dewy finish. So if that's what you're going for, that's what you're going to get. Let's zoom in and take a look at how it performed over this 12 hours. I've lost a tiny bit of coverage on my chin, but really every place else, it still got life left in it. Like I feel like I could still be out in the world doing whatever I'd be doing 12 hours later and it still looks all right. I'm actually quite shocked at how smooth texture and pores are still looking at this point in the evening. That is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Looks fine on my nose, nothing is caked up. Blush bones or highlight are still intact. It's not caking up between my eyebrows, which tends to happen. It's looking pretty good every place. It's not looking dry, it didn't settle into lines. It still kept its finish. Everything is in place, hasn't moved around. So I think for dry skin, you're fine. I think for maturing skin, you're fine. It didn't even settle into my chin lines. Like it's, it's, I'm having a good makeup day today. I had a good makeup day today. If I had to give a grade to the Clinique even better, where you been all my life? Oh, you've been here. I just wasn't trying you. I was just ignoring you. That's all. Yeah, well, my bad. I gotta give it an A. I like it. I like it a whole lot. They have a ton of shades, but just don't be alarmed by the description because this is called Very Fair, and I would say this is actually a little bit darker. Like, I might need a lighter shade in the wintertime. I'm never considered Very Fair, so don't be alarmed by the titles. Go by the swatches. Use that to make your determination on shade, or if you already know approximately what you wear in Clinique, you might have an easier time with that. But I think I picked a good shade, but the name of it is different than the way other shades name them as they apply to me. 
but I'm totally happy. I totally like this. It is SPF 15 Ziva here. You can't see her because she's right here, right here. You can see her tail if you... This is it. This is this is life with Ziva. This is life with Ziva. But I know you guys love her, so come here, baby. Say hi to your adoring fans. Look that way. Look. <laughs> Say hi to your adoring fans. Say hi to them. They're over there. You see? Say hi. Say hi, good baby. Okay, that's enough. You can go now. You can go now. There you go. There's your Ziva fix for the evening. <laughs> We have an A. We have an A on our hands. I'm very happy. Now I'm going to go wash my face and go to bed because I'm up later than I should be. It's all right, though. When you got an A, when you got an A on the books, it's all good. There you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments, what do you want me to try next? Is there something that's been on the market that I just haven't tried? Let me know. I'll get my hands on it. I, I, I regret not trying this sooner because it's lovely. Let me know what you'd like me to check out. I do have some higher end foundations on the way in the Sephora sale, which by the time you see this, probably just ended but we've got more coming you know me and my foundations mm, my favorite my favorite as always thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me i appreciate your time and i hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world take care of each other bye bye